Hey guys, so today I'm filming a uh, what's on my iPod video, iPod 5 video because this has been requested a lot and you haven't, like, I've got requested to do this video a lot the reason I haven't done it is because I just find it really difficult to film because I'm really lazy and I, and I have too much stuff on my iPod and it just takes forever so I'm not going to go into that much detail but this has been requested a lot so anyway, if you want to watch what's on my iPod, just continue on watching. So this is my iPod and I just have this three part case on. Um, when you see the screen, the first thing you see is just my screensaver which is Claroline like always. And just Okay, so when you open my screen, this is what you get. I'm sorry if it's a blip, a bit blurry but it's really difficult to try and focus it for some reason. So this is as clear as, as, clear as it's probably going to get. So. Um, if you just slide, I have four pages and my back screen is a picture of Candace Ackler and if you don't know who that is, that's the actress who plays Caroline in The Vampire Diaries and yeah, I've been obsessed with her for like two to three years now, so yeah. Anyway, so when you go on to the front page, I basically just have my camera uh, photos which I'll give you a sneak peek of because I'm fabulous like that now. So yeah, then you just see I have a bunch of selfies clearly. Um, then I have an album called Videos. I think this just does the video things naturally. And then the album I've synced on to my iPod are just all these funny pictures. I absolutely love these pictures. Um, yeah, so then we have pictures, notes, app store, music and... My music is, I'm not going to lie, mostly, I haven't paid for most of it, so I'm not going to lie about that. But yeah, most of it I've just like hijacked off my computer. And it basically just consists of Beyonce, Katy Perry, and um, Avril Lavigne, and a lot of Spanish songs, because Spanish songs are really cool. Okay, so then we have a folder, and the folder on the here side is called Fun Apps. And then you can just see I basically have the general games that most people have, like um, Temperon and Fruit Ninja. And then I have uh, a camera app. And yeah, I have just these cameras that I don't even use. CamWow Pro, CamWow, all this. I always use this app, so Insta College. This is probably the only one I use. So I'm probably going to just delete all those apps. So yeah, I'll just... So yeah, you just get all these frames you can use to make collages with. And then... I have a folder called Fun, which just consists of these games, Doodle Jump, Jetpack Joyride, uh, the shark game that's really fun to play. Then, if you don't know me, um, Supernatural and Mythology stuff is probably just my entire life. Ever since I was a kid, it's always just been about sci-fi. And, and not the kind of Star Trek sci-fi, but the um, witches, I don't know, if you've ever seen Charmed, best show ever. I've been watching that since I was like... Seven. And so yeah, then we have palm readings, um, another palm reader one, and your lives. And your lives is such a good app. It's uh, about your past and future life. So yeah, and the music is super cool for that. Music apps that just have song pop and voice plus, uh, sports, even though I don't play sports, um, the hockey, interactive hockey and um, glow hockey and hit tennis are like the best games ever to play especially if you're with your friends but food games I don't know why I label it randomly like that but whatever so yeah then you can just see these are just basically like hot dog of food games the best one on here is probably Sky Burger which is oopsie daisy um, basically it tells you the food you're supposed to get on the bun and you just move it side to side so yeah, if you don't have that app, I would definitely get it. So yeah, and then we have Boring, which just consists of the stuff that I can't delete off my iPod, but I don't use it. Even though I use, do use the clock a lot, um, I just put in Boring because, yeah, um, it's been there for ages. Notes, because, you know, voice memos and Wonderlist. If you don't know what Wonderlist is, it's such a really good generic app. Uh, basically like this app and you have all these lists in here. And I have a folder called Poo Games, which aren't really Poo Games, but yeah. Um, if you've never played this game here, you have to get it because it's so fun. Um, my sister showed me this app ages ago. And it's basically like this turd that's... I'm jumping on these. It's really funny. 
apps because I feel like the first apps you'll ever get is definitely a quiz app. So yeah, and then I just have random colour test ones. And social because, you know, social, you got to keep social. Um, if you don't know what AskFM is or Vine or Twitter or Skype, um, AskFM isn't really that popular, but I know the first three are. Um, ask if M is basically where you can ask anonymous questions or not anonymous questions and I have my own profile but I don't go on it anymore second page of that I have eBay, BBC iPlayer and YouTube when we get onto the second page as you can tell by now I like to keep things in folders it doesn't really look that nice but it's the easiest way I know where everything is so then I just have all these folders and this one's um called lol for some reason and you've got candy crush in here knock the can down and some my diet coach even. then i just have one called apps which again just consists of um random games like tic tac crazy facts and truth or dare i should probably delete most of these doodle apps these are just doodle games uh glow draw and then some other one called kids doodle entertainment now this is pretty funny and um, I'm pretty sure you can see the one of Harry Styles here and um, basically this is a app where you can scare somebody like it never really works um, but yeah it did work one time and you were con and it lets you record their actions so let's start it tells you that you're going to do a staring contest and it tells you to record it but it isn't actually a staring cont contest so yeah, for the first 30 seconds you're staring and you're not trying to blink and then that comes up and it records your reaction and I find that really funny because the first time I did it because I didn't know what the app was and my friend told me to download it it scared the bejeebies out of me. It was like the most scariest thing in the world and if you don't know what that is called it's called video prank and the picture is a picture of Harry Styles. Then I just have Riddle and Grand Piano. It's a folder called Shit, I know. Um, I'm, I shouldn't really be labelling stuff like that but this is just Minecraft that my brother made me download for some reason and some makeup game that I'm definitely going to delete and then I have a folder called books because I read all the time and I'm, I have Kindle, Kaboo, books and Wattpad because who doesn't like reading fanfiction? iMovie which is if I basically film, everyone knows what iMovie is, but this is free as well, which is really good because it kind of lets you have a start on things. But I have the app next to it that's called Documents, and basically I can save documents from my mail, so anything I get in Hotmail, I can open it up in Documents and then save it. I have a Splashy Fish and some other sp fish game, Snappy Bird game. I have a mag Magic Piano app, a Phantom. If you don't know what Fonto is, Fonto is really good. Uh, you should definitely get this up. I think most people actually have this app. Basically, it and um, Fonto is where you can put text in your photos. So I'm gonna go on a picture. For some reason, it's taking a while to load. A bit of ten hours later. Okay, so there we go. There's a photo, and then you just click on it. It says the thing add text, and you can write anything. So I'm just gonna write sunny day. And voila, it says sunny day and you can edit it and everything, change the size, change the font. Um, so yeah, and then you can click save here, like it has all these other options if you want to mail it to someone. So yeah, and then I have Kick. Uh, if you don't know what Kick is, it's basically like Facebook Messenger, where you can just message with people and stuff like that. And then my brother downloaded this app called Auto Wrap the other day and I was like, okay, what is this? And this is actually pretty cool. I don't know how to use it because I've never tried, but... You basically say something, like some words into it, like, I don't know if I said hello, and then it would automatically turn it into a wrap. I have the Netflix app, obviously, because, you know, you got to watch Netflix. And then on this page, I have, these are quite used apps. Um, I have Snapchat, which we all know what Snapchat is by now. Just unfollow, and um, this is for my Twitter and uh, Instagram, because... Um, I get so annoyed. People in my school, when they follow me and then they unfollow me, it annoys me the most. It's like the most annoying thing as well. Oh no, yeah, my Instagram is Sarah Ali 2000 
so yep and then I have whitegram which is basically where you can make your pictures white and then 1D ultimate which is this 1D quiz that's quite fun to play if you're bored and then on the last page I just have BBM for the iPod slash iPhone I think it's only for the iPhone but whatever and then touch which again I was forced to download so yeah and then I don't think I showed you these free here so I just have music Facebook messenger and Instagram and I'll give you a sneak peek at thy Instagram so yeah my name's Sarali2000 okay, so then on the bottom I have Safari settings message and mail and yes I use Hotmail a lot of people use Gmail nowadays and it seriously annoys me but yes and um, anyway that was oh let me do that was what's on my iPod sorry if my iPod was kind of blurred out but um yeah the focus is just really being annoying on my camera lately I don't know what's wrong with it it's just it's really difficult to focus on small things now so yeah um anyway I I think I'm gonna have to edit this down because for some reason it is 35 minutes I don't know how this always happens but I filmed this video five times why am I doing four five times literally and each time it was too long anyway bye guys and please subscribe